Hey, what's up everyone? Vegetarian Zombie, welcome back to Radiation Island. Last time we saw this place, yeah, we kind of went in and killed everyone in the tower. And uh, as you can see, I've actually knocked down the tower, but the tower is still standing. I don't quite get that. But in any case, look at this, I've been busy building chests. Why have I been building chests, may you ask? Well, it's because I've been testing out the multiplayer. Now, this video, I meant to come out at least a week ago, but I've been having so many problems with the multiplayer. The first issue was I wasn't able to connect to any of the servers, and I contacted Atypical Games, and they were like, uh, everything looks fine on our end. Turns out I was using an old, old version of the game. And what that basically is, is I've been kind of hesitant to upgrade Radiation Island because I've heard of people losing their saves. So I decided to keep on the my older version that obviously couldn't connect with the client well enough so I updated this and what do you know I can connect to the servers now all right so what I did was I have no idea how this works if I die do I lose all my stuff what goes on what happens man and I don't want to lose my stuff basically in fact I don't want to lose all the strong armor but what I did is I built all these chests and I put all my stuff in it for now and that way when we go inside and uh, actually do some fighting oh my god I'm eating bad again. I just want to eat meat! <laughs> so if I die, it's not going to be that bad. Okay. So let's just dive into this right now. And Actually, I got my medicine. I should put this on my bar. Now, before I get into the fighting, I actually have a question I want to pose to you guys about Radiation Island. It's going to be happening after the multiplayer, so stick around and uh, yeah, wait for it. <laughs> Alright, let's dive in. Here we go! is ridiculous oh my god i just did this i just tested this before i was recording this is ridiculous guys this oh come on hey there we go <laughs> okay as you can see the multiplayer is really uh, popular with people playing right now look at this tons of people well, when there's a person, there's a big red thing that is a threat indicator, and you can just follow it to them and shoot them in the face. You can also see them moving really, really slow. Really, really, really slow. Like, really, really slow. Come on. Come on, man. Like, I come from the Quake generation where you run fast and you, you, you shoot them tons of times in the face. But this is... This is a multiplayer! All right, let's get out of this. Let's see if we can find another world. Why is this texture so, like, that looks really bad. Oh, look at this. We got nothing. There is no textures. That's why it looks bad. All right, let's go back. Yay, we're back. All right, we're going to try it again. All right, is there anyone? Anyone? I guess this is the problem about playing multiplayer in a game that's, like, a year year after release is because no one is playing multiplayer. All right, I When I did play, I want to say last night and earlier this morning... I've only met one other person. It doesn't seem to be a, a, a brimming world filled with people. And the person I did meet had the name iPad in his name. And I didn't really think that was fair. I actually cornered him and shot him in the face several times. But he keeps working on touchpad controls. I'm using mouse and keyboard. That's not fair. It still felt good, though. <laughs> Let's get out. Ah, the textures are back. Welcome back, textures. Where have you been? Let's get out of here. Let's go back. Isn't this, this is what you guys have been asking for. The multiplayer, here it is. This is great. <laughs> All right, well, there doesn't seem to be much to show. Uh, I wish I started recording. Maybe what I can do is just go in at random times and record footage. This is on the weekend, by the way. And uh, I figured the weekend it would have a better chance of having people in here than versus on, say, a, a weekday. <laughs> but no luck. And I think... Uh, you know, the game itself really puts roadblocks into this where they put up, they're like, well, you got to beat the entire game before you can play multiplayer. And guess what? Let's see how long it took me to beat the game. Hmm. Not too long. What is it? Let's open up my stats here. Let's see the stats. Look at this. Survived uh, two hours, 19 minutes. Uh, it doesn't really say. Total play time, 42 hours before I could play multiplayer. 42 hours. So that's where I'm guessing the server population 
Plus the fact that this is an older game. By old, you know, it's like a year old. This is the reason why we're not finding anyone in the servers. You know, I mean, you get through one island and it's like, wow, okay, cool. You know, the, people might tap out then, but actually beating all three islands, um, probably going to keep, it's probably going to keep the multiplayer situation small. Look at this. Yay. No one. No one's in multiplayer but me. If I can only play myself. All right. That came out weird. All right, guys. So there's n multiplayer, you know, that ship seems to have passed. But this is the part where I'm going to ask you a question. This is what I've been thinking. I've been receiving uh, lots of messages, comments, and so forth from people who have really liked the series. In fact, this series has been absolutely a joy to make. I really... Is that transparent? I can see through... Th is this like a fabric or something? In any case, it's been... It was really... Whoa! What are you doing? I'm in the middle of something, buddy. Jeez, a pajama zombie. Hmm, something's got his sword straight up. I better get out of here. So anyway, guys, this is my this is my think. My thing my my feeling on this. I've been receiving lots of messages. People love the series, and I loved it too. I've had a really great time. But the problem is, is the series over. We've knocked out all the towers. And um game over, man. Game over. And I I realized that, you know, that I was kind of done. The series is kind of done. Moving on. Moving on to the next game. And you can see we got Crashlands going on. And um, I got the daily the daily shows going on and stuff like that. But, I mean, when I look at analytics, uh, it's still... The Radiation Island is one of the top... It's, like, dominating my analytics. So people are finding the show, going through the entire series, and really having a good time. Not... To, wow! <laughs> Not to mention, you guys have all mentioned that you really enjoyed this. I've been receiving tons of requests to do the multiplayer. And I just want to let you know that and then here it is. <laughs> Look at this guy! He's having metaphysical problems. So, I came up with an idea this morning. And you guys may like it, you may not. But I wanted to post it to a poll. In fact, YouTube has these polls. I was completely shocked to discover that. Look at this. This is completely see-through. So I'm going to put a post a poll to you guys. And uh, we got a few options here about the future of the channel. And this is really important that you guys answer this. What's going on? Why did I just get hurt? So please, answer the poll. Just just click a button. And, and if not, then leave a message in the comments to tell me what you want because this is going to determine what I'll be doing next. Okay? So, we've gone ahead and beat the game. Now, the current status quo is we move on. We're doing uh, a bunch of other games right now. I got Fallout 3, Seven Days to Die, and Crashlands. But, 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 and, and then we just keep on doing that. End of story. You know, keep the status quo. Second option, if you guys are interested, I continue going through the playthrough that I've ended. So we beat the game, and as you can see, the game isn't really over. So I can keep on playing this game, and we can do a bit of crafting, a bit of exploring, and so-so. Uh, so option number three, and this is kind of where I'm... Um, I'm leaning towards, but again, I, I need your guys' feedback, is that we don't continue this game. This game's over. We beat the game. We beat the island. It's all over. We've already... I've already got everything that I need to get. Hey. And, you know, it's like once you've reached this level of uber level of crafting, it's like the game's really super easy. And that's, that's okay. You know, that's cool. Here we go. Trying again. No one. No one's here! Hello? But option three is this. We start. Now, if you watch my other if you watch my other shows, you realize we have different seasons. We have seasons one, season two, seven days to die, we're in season four. We start a new season of Radiation Island. We get season four. And this time the emphasis not be just on look at this guy. Oh, do I have a, a katana? No, I just want to test the, test that out. We get a new season of Radiation Island. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Look at him. We get a new season of Radiation Island going. And actually, let's, let's see what this guy looks like in the light. Uh, uh, you're ugly. <laughs> Hello, you're dead. We start a new season of Radiation Island. We start fresh. 
And then we go through, like we go through the towers, but we put some constraints on it. Like for instance, we don't take boats. That's one constraint. Next constraint is that we can only take one tower out at a time. So in the last series, I did maybe two towers, maybe three towers in one episode. Nada, in this episode, we only take out one tower at a time. And then we focus on building an exploration so that we can see every bit that the island has to offer. And then we make it a much more breathable playthrough. So let me know. So let me know. So here are the options again. One, we do nothing. We continue. We, we can we put radiation on the bed. Two, we continue on with this playthrough that I currently have. Or C, or part three. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. We create an entire new season. So let me know what you think because I'd love to hear hear that all right guys well as you can see multiplayer isn't exactly all that it's cracked up to be I'm obviously in it at a wrong time but I'll, I'll be honest with you when I did find players and they were just kind of running around looking confused and scared and I just shot them in the face it really wasn't that that much fun I, I gotta say and that's because the game isn't designed for multiplayer this is this game is designed for single-player exploration crafting killing and getting <laughs> munched on by zombies all right guys well let me know what you think in the comments and again thanks again for watching and um yeah maybe or maybe not i'll see you in the next episode all right guys see you then maybe